awesome. do. That um, is so do you fun. refer to anyone as ancient astronaut theorists? Because I think that's yeah, my favorite part of Yeah, we refer to ourselves as that, yeah. I'm like, ancient astronaut theorists. Is that the thing? It's on my business card. I hope it is. <laughs> when we were, we actually, uh, we workshopped this show in New York with Amy Gerlich, and uh, when we were driving back from one of our rehearsals, Matt and I, for shits and giggles, put on one of Giorgio's lectures to, like, make fun of. Uh, and the first 20 minutes of it, we're like, this is the dumbest thing ever. We're, like, validated, and we're laughing. And then around, like, minute 21, he tied everything together, and it made perfect sense, and, like, our minds were blown, and we're like, we are assholes. <laughs> you know what's funny is, like, uh, as far as, like, comparing it to improvisation... He's kind of perfect at this. Like, I, I, I would not be surprised to find out that he has a very strong improv background because he says everything with such confidence and certainty. Like, yep. like he, like, th there's no theory to it. Like, this guy knows that like aliens came down and had bird heads and jackal heads, and that's why we, that's why the Egyptian gods made pyramids and planes that they got rid of. You know, like, right. Like, it's it's one of those things. He says well, all it. the answers are right in front of us. You know, they're right there. Right, yeah. right. And the we're more just being, tan, we're just distracted. They're they're so close to you that in fact it will tan your skin and blow your hair out. The closer right. you get to the truth, you know. Oh my God, I'm so well, close I mean, to the truth. He's clearly Giorgio is clearly a lizard person, though. Can we all agree on that? Oh yeah. Oh, nobody has that yeah. kind of hair. Yeah, no, that's just not yeah. a natural forming hair. No style. No. I love him, though. Is He's... this how humans hair? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Am I hairing this correctly? <laughs> um. <laughs> yeah, no, that's a... Uh, I, li I like that a lot. Like, I also, you know, um... I, I like it when it gets tied into, like, uh, like flat Earth theories, too. I don't know. How do you guys feel about the idea of the Earth being flat? Because I think oh, I'm, I'm ready to be a part of that life. I wish the Earth oh, was flat. Uh, insane. It's so insane. It's so insane. But I, I, I'm intrigued by the people who sincerely believe it. Yeah. In 2017, like, I, it just it yeah. amazes me that there are human beings that they're not they're not trying to be like shitheads and like be funny and like poke at it. Like, there are people that are sincerely convinced of it, and like, I want to meet these people because like it blows my mind that they exist. Well. And like, well, I, the thing is, is like with the advent of the internet, it's really hard to tell which which any which of these groups really existed before it. But it's like I feel like when I was growing up, we were all very sure that the Earth was round. And then like to think that the internet came around and made a, a certain group of people backpedal to like before Galileo and things like that and before Christopher Columbus. Like, I don't think that they just became invented when the internet happened. We I just think, didn't get to hear them I be think we stupid. just found them. Yeah, yeah, yeah we just didn't get I to hear them. I think they were somewhere and we never heard them face. because they weren't like Could you involved imagine, in like, newspapers. Explaining that? Could you like, imagine like without the internet trying to explain that? Because <laughs> now you can have articles and stuff but I mean to come up with all these concepts yourself and, and to like find people to back you up on it. Somewhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like to build confidence in yourself having this theory by having a bunch of other dumb people just be right. like, no, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what I always felt like was happening. You know? It seems like, <laughs> like a uh, shitty time that you had to go to the church to like reveal your scientific beliefs and they were like, yeah or nah. Yeah. Like, and that's just how it went. Like, there was no I like. like <laughs> I, I like to imagine that it was an elaborate pen pal system. <laughs> I mean, it kind of was, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. I mean, I, I'm pretty sure that's the only kind of pals these people could have. Um, <laughs> and, you know, like, because I, I feel like if you believe Quill in pals, this... pals, really. <laughs> yeah, I, like, yeah, like, uh, like, raven buddies. Yeah, yeah. Um, pigeon pals. Um, but, like, yeah, because I feel like if you think this, then that probably overrides most conversations you have. Like, before the internet, you know, like, if you're just certain the Earth is flat, then I feel like you're compelled to make sure that you get that you get that theory out there. You know, just like, damn yeah, it, I all these like people thinking the Earth is round. I feel like you would keep it to yourself, because, I mean, really, how, how often do we talk about how round the Earth is generally, you know? <laughs> like, I never, I never talk about the Earth being round, ever. Yeah, I guess it doesn't really come up. Right. <laughs> 
So you could be like, they could be all among us, you know. There could be a lot of flat earthers that are. I mean, now you know it's kind of like CrossFit, and everybody's on to talk about it. But like, um, it's a good first date question though. <laughs> To really get to the crux of the matter of yeah. like, hey, hey, you know, my name's John, how are you? I believe the earth is round, how about you? Yeah. <laughs> you know, and then like real quick, well, like, it's like at that moment you can either leave or stay. I never, I never have conversations about like... That's a dating like, chair right there. <laughs> I never have conversations about like the melting point of like steel girders, but you know, there was this whole group yeah. of people that kind of really knew the science on that, wanted to make sure we all did too. Uh, oh, yeah. Well, you know, we are a steel town. Bethlehem is a steel town, and uh, I don't know. We should probably prove that. Well, we were a steel town. We were a steel town. It yeah. failed epically and is, like, the quintessential case study of now how how to not do business. <laughs> nice. No, that's, I like that's that. cool. That's cool. <laughs> it sounds yeah, creepy. It sounds history. very Stephen King. Yeah, a lot of yeah. weird history. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I like the idea of someone teaching that. They're like, and this is how not to run a business. <laughs> <laughs> Letting Literally everyone when, die. Yeah, yeah. When I went to, uh, when I took a, a business management class in college, like day one, freshman year, the first case study they had us read was how Bethlehem Steel failed. And like, I was like, oh, that's my hometown. I guess I'm a loser. <laughs> yeah. If it makes you feel any better, in college, I went to college in, here in Texas, and I'm from Boston, a small town in Boston. They made us read a book in my first history class that was about a utopia in the beginnings of the America, and it turned out to be the town I was from. And I had to oh. tell the history teacher, yeah, it's not a utopia now, it's just a regular town. And he was like, <laughs> how disappointing. And it was like, really? Oh. Really? You thought maybe... He was super disappointed, like maybe, maybe there was a utopia somewhere maybe in America. This, like, ut maybe this Puritan utopia still exists. Really, I was going to retire there. I just did zero research. I just figured it's 1996. <laughs> Surely, 600 and so many years later, there's people just like living 300 years. It's fine. They're still utopians. Get the hell out of here. Yeah, the idea like both these lesson plans started with uh, disappointment, like right off the bat. Yeah, our college careers started with disappointment. <laughs> I feel like that's the perfect way to start college. Set you up I right. Mean, yeah, setting a great tone. <laughs> well, that's like uh, that's like being from South Carolina and then learning who started the Civil War, you know. So. Oh yeah. yeah. I think it's really oh, funny yeah. that they wait, told you the opposite. Wait, it was, it was us. We did that. Ah, oh, God. <laughs> Jeez, <Man>. we. <laughs> that was the first time South Carolina was of note and the last time. <laughs> um, I don't know. I really like the movie Shag. That's about it. <laughs> about our state dance. Whoopee. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, does Pennsylvania have a state dance? Uh, probably. Wait, state what? State a dance? state dance? Like they two oh, step in Texas. No they two step in Texas. South Carolina, you shag. Uh, Boston, they I just mean, punch I'm you sure. in the face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just a fist fight. Yeah, that's what it is. The state dance. For, uh, what it is. We're frantically checking Wikipedia right now. No, no. Oh, uh, see, make we don't it up. we don't Google on the podcast. Just make it up. We don't care. I'm not Googling. At all. <laughs> all right, all right. Well, then, uh, okay, well, then I can safely say that Pennsylvania State Dance is the electric slide. Yeah! So you know yeah. I think it's probably the polka. It might be. A, oh, it, you guys, uh, big, is a polka. You guys got a You guys got a big accordion presence there? Huge accordion presence. Yeah, Ooh. yeah. I'm actually, I'm actually an anthropomorphic accordion. <laughs> oh, I can tell that from the photo. Yeah, and you have perfect pitch. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't hear his wheezing, but it sounds like an accordion. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> so, I I have to assume this is going to be like a hack question, but uh, oh. Amish people, do you, do you interact with them? Is that a hack no, In Pennsylvania? Hat. I don't know. I just feel like probably when you hear it, when any, anybody finds out you're from Pennsylvania that's an outsider, he's going to yeah. be like, so Amish people, that's weird. Uh, we're far enough away from Lancaster that we don't uh, we don't really have that as a day to day. We do get their furniture though, and it's very nice. Yeah, yeah. no, they make they make awesome fireplaces, and uh, yep. yeah, it's incredible. Yeah, you know, interestingly enough, even though you're you're making Amish references to our Pennsylvania friends, um, a couple of years ago, um, there was a fire in uh, the town that's just south of Austin called Bastrop, and it like burned half the city down. Like the the forests just lit on fire because it's too hot sometimes and too dry, 
and it lit on fire and half the city was burnt to the ground and uh, there was this uh, Amish church actually that went around and helped people rebuild their houses and some a friend of my husband's his house got rebuilt by an Amish family that's awesome yeah they like came yeah, in and like, were like I'm really... real sorry we're, we'll help you out they're really into that relief effort. Uh, where I, where my parents live, we live right on the Delaware River, and uh, after it flooded, they helped uh, probably three or four houses. They put those houses on stilts and then offset them back like a hundred yards. Right? Like. Yes. They. they the they efficiency. All the they're house. the best yeah. religion. They just help people. They're just nice. They're not asking. Yeah. They're yeah. not asking you questions. They're just like, how can I rebuild your house? I like that. Yeah. That seems nice. That yeah, but like good. you guys, we we play make believe with each other, so we're great too. <laughs> yeah, well. <laughs> I mean, we like to help, just you know, not manually or physically, because most of us are doughy nerds. But right, yeah. <laughs> I could just see us like kind of just standing in the middle of a house that was burnt down, trying to do improv scenes around a family that just wants their house to be rebuilt. <laughs> <laughs> I like that that's the only skill we have in this scenario. Uh, it's just like, that's right. it. Uh, geez, like, Greg, why did you bring your turtle to work today? Oh, no. oh is that a I, hammer I, in your hand? <laughs> yes, it is. And I brought I nails. Would... Dude, that, that set has to start with, like, scene painting. So it could be like, we see a den. And there's a rug <laughs> and, and our favorite chair is over there. And they're just weeping. <laughs> they're just silently weeping as we're describing their burnt home to play make believe in. Oh my oh. god. This is where you probably had your heights notched into the door frame. Oh no. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh God! Wow, guys, oh. talk about you. Oh, hey, okay, using improv for evil kind of sounds fun, right? Is I mean, that yeah. evil? I mean, I guess it's evil. Like, if it's just to like make fun of these with people. The, yeah, with just a smidgen of awareness, it's pretty evil. Yeah, like yeah. smidgen of awareness. I like right. the idea of improv villains. You know, like just a group of dudes <laughs> that go out and use improv to just bum people out and fuck with their day. <laughs> yeah. I think that's just what oh, regular vil- villains do, except for they have, like, follow-through occasionally. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, like, the Joker's plan was pretty, you know, it's pretty ornate and kind of intricate in Dark Knight. Yeah, he so. wore a lot of makeup. <laughs> There's very little makeup in improv. Yeah. <laughs> Less than you'd expect. Uh, and also more than you'd expect on my end, at least. I have blemishes. I you am wear not a lot of makeup. I do it's wear it, yeah. It's no, true. I'm sorry. You have it's... a... I don't like being oh, shiny. The lights are bad. You know, it's it, whatever. The, the, it's, it's not a thing. I just powder a little. Oh hey, my when, god! When, when you get through your twenty-first puberty, you won't have to do that anymore. <sighs> you know, that's what they keep telling me. I'm looking forward to it, but you know, it's gonna be a, raw, a long road ahead. Where does the puberty begin? Like, like if it's your twenty-first puberty, how old are you? Because you, is your first puberty when you're 13? You know, it's Or like, is your 21st uh, think, puberty when you turn 21? You know, don't put a box I mean, around when you get to it. You know, like I'm some just, of us are I'm just trying to ask. I'm just trying to figure out what level of puberty I'm at. <laughs> well, oh. I mean, this is getting really po- political because I think there are people that believe that puberty begins at conception. <laughs> <laughs> and then there are, others, there are others that, you know, it begins, you know, as it's a traditional birth moment. So I guess... I mean, I don't know. Like, we're a weird state. We're very <laughs> red and blue at the same time. So, we'll, uh, hi, we'll you're talking to Austin, Texas. Yeah, yeah. You're talking to Austin, Texas. Austin, as blue as you could be. Texas. Yep. Redder than the fires of hell. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> See, I think it's also we're like. Not- I consider I consider your puberty is very much like a like World of Warcraft or like any RPG. You know, it's just like it depends yeah, like on how hard up. you're grinding. Yeah, yeah, it's like leveling up. Oh, I see. Yeah, it's about it the experience. It depends on game. how hard you're grinding. Yeah, yeah, that's a. That's Does that a, mean something? That's, that's an not RPG sex? term. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Okay. That's an RPG term. It means just like killing right. people over and over again to get experience. Uh, okay. um, Wendell, can you can you can you re-explain that? But this time, do it as iced tea. <laughs> so wait, you tell him what you're telling me. What you're telling me is some folks they go out and they find like just your standard Razorback hogs. And they just wait. And they just wait till they're all in a big group, and then they just hack them to death with their standard bastard sword instead of like I don't know, going and looking for quests and you know like leveling up like everybody else agreed to. 
And wait, you're saying sometimes people get paid to do this so so people don't have to do